Time now for Futures in Focus. Joining us from the CME is Ira Epstein, head of the Ira Epstein division of Lynn and Associates. Ira, we got the jobs number today. A few little surprises in there, all told pretty strong. And yet the VIX is at 13, really no volatility out there. How is it impacting trading down at the CME? Very, very quiet. As I was coming up to the studio looking around, no screaming, very, very quiet in the market. I think the problem is the market was looking for a good number no matter what, and they were looking to see what last month's number was going to be revised to. I think we all thought there'd be a revision, but I think the revision coming in from a 20,000 gain to 33 sort of took the air out of the bubble. Hearing the president yesterday also say four to six weeks more for a trade deal, you know, this is a bull market behind me that needs to be fed. They took some food off the table. What about his comments that the Fed should maybe consider quantitative easing again? Is the market discounting those types of comments from the president? Well, let's understand. When's the last time you heard a president call for higher rates? So his job has been that he doesn't interfere with the Fed, but he's on the tweet every day talking about it. What can you do? He doesn't influence the Fed. The data will. It's the nature of this president. All right, let's talk about oil. 62.54 a barrel. We're up another seven-tenths of a percent today. It's been another strong week for crude right. oil futures. We got Libyan oil under attack. The, the factions there are back to fighting, and Libya has pr proven to be anything but a stable producer. It's very capable of producing a lot of oil, but now one of the factions is marching on Tripoli. Uh, if that faction gives in, the question is, as he moves from the eastern region into Tripoli, do the rebels move around the back of him and hurt the oil wells that are producing? So the market is worried about that. Venezuelan oil is off the market, and with strong jobs data out of the U.S., we're still not, a, not only a good supplier, but a good user. So you look at all that, you look at stability in China to a degree, hope for a trade deal. It's hard to be bearish oil. So you anticipate some more upside next week then potentially? What would you be targeting? Well, I, I think right where we're at in the stock market, I think right where we're at in the oil, are subjects for pullbacks in the market. That's not bearish. That's pullbacks in the market. And I continue to think that both going into the summer months are going to get stronger, not weaker over time.